What's going on everyone? This is GWR Studios, and today we are going to be finding some more goofs in Thomas and Friends. Today's episode is Percy Runs Away. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the episode starts out by showing Gordon, James, and Henry in the sheds. Because they didn't listen to Sir Topham Hatt, they weren't allowed to leave the sheds. At last, Sir Topham Hatt arrived. Sir Topham Hatt tells the engines that he hopes they've learned their lesson. He also tells them that Thomas, Percy, and Edward have been working their jobs nicely. However, he's willing to let them out of the sheds so long as they don't complain anymore. Yes, sir, said the three engines. We will. The engines agree and get back to work. Sir Topham Hatt then told Percy, Thomas, and Edward to take some time off. And here's where I saw the first goof. When Percy goes over the turntable, the turntable sags downward. <laughs> Next, for a split second, Edward's eyes jolt upward. I thought I saw a fly. And there's another goof. Look at Thomas's smokestack. The inside of it is white. <laughs> This is impossible because the smoke coming out should have turned it black. Thomas couples up to Annie and Clarabelle, and Edward and Percy shunted some trucks. Stop, stop, screamed the cars as they were pushed into their proper siding. The engines were having a good time taking it easy, and then I saw this goof. Annie's nameplate is missing, <laughs> and Clarabelle's nameplate is missing as well. <laughs> Next, listen to what the narrator says. Edward took some empty cars to the quarry. That's not true. The last three trucks have loads in them. Percy was left alone. Percy liked watching the engines go by, and he also liked to tease them. After doing some more shunting, Percy heads back to the yard. On his way back, Percy had to wait for a signalman to change a switch. And here comes another goof. In this close-up of Percy, if you look real close, you'll notice that the camera tilts downward. It's a little easier to notice when it's sped up. <laughs> Percy was so anxious to get back to the yard that he had forgotten what Edward had told him. Be careful on the main line. Whistle to the signalman that you were there. But Percy didn't remember to whistle, so the signalman never changed the switch. Percy waited and waited. And then there was trouble. Gordon was heading down the line at full speed ahead, and Percy was in the way. Get out of my way! But there was no time to get out of the way, so Percy's driver and fireman jumped out. Gordon applied his brakes and stopped just in time. His buffers were only inches away from Percy's. But Percy is scared to death, so he runs away as fast as he can. But there's a goof I need to point out. When Percy spins his wheels, we can see chips of red on the side of the wheel. <laughs> Not very easy to see, so Percy runs away, and I want this to be clear. Percy does not have a driver and fireman because they jumped out thinking there was going to be a crash. And we can see that they didn't get back in Percy because they're still standing by the signal box. Percy was so traumatized that he puffed backwards as fast as he could, but get a load of this. As Percy approaches Gordon's Hill, one of the crew members is in the cab. <laughs> But it gets even better. When Percy goes up Gordon's Hill, we see another crew member. <laughs> Percy continues to run away, but if his driver and fireman are inside, why can't they just stop him? In fact, throughout this whole sequence, Percy's driver and fireman appear and disappear several times. <laughs> In this close-up, the crew member has disappeared. And I also noticed this scratch on Percy's paint. <laughs> At this point, Percy just wanted to stop. I want to stop! I want to stop! Fortunately, a signalman changed the switch so that Percy would go onto a siding. But why is there a set of tracks beside Percy? When he went on the siding, we didn't see another set of tracks, but now there is. <laughs> At last, Percy came to a stop after running into a pile of dirt. I want to stop! He had finally stopped. I have stopped! Some workmen came to dig Percy out of the dirt, but look at Percy's boiler. If we look closely, we can see that a red stripe is peeling away. <laughs> Shortly after, Gordon came to help Percy out. But look at this guy's neck. He's got sticky tack all around it. Well done, Percy. You started so quickly that you stopped a nasty accident. What? Percy didn't stop the accident. Gordon did. Percy didn't try to get out of the way. Gordon had to put his brakes on as hard as he could. So why is Gordon congratulating Percy? Well done, Percy. You started so quickly that you stopped a nasty accident. This makes absolutely no sense, and therefore it is a goof. I'm sorry I was cheeky. You were clever to stop, replied Gordon. Gordon helps pull Percy out of the dirt. And ever since then, Percy and Gordon have been good friends. But there's one last goof. This set of tracks has no buffers. <laughs> Percy is always most careful when he goes out on the main line. And this marks the end of the episode. 
All right, so those were all the goofs that I found in Percy Runs Away. These last couple episodes have had a lot of goofs, and I think I've found most all of the goofs in this episode, but if you saw one that I didn't point out, leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day.